Hiya, welcome back to Gosforth Handyman. Today I'm on a really common joinery maintenance job and that is fixing loose handrails on a staircase. This is specifically in a new build property. It's about three or four years old, this house. Very common after that period of time for the handrails to start coming loose. And I'm gonna show you how to fix them and some of the problems that you might run into. So a fairly typical new build problem here, and it's a problem throughout this particular house. It's four years old and all of the banisters are loose. And I can almost guarantee what the problem's gonna be here because the fixing kits that they tend to use on these banisters are rubbish. So basically there's a big threaded machine bolt that goes through the newel post and attaches into a bracket which is held into the end of the handrail. And what commonly happens is that they don't use big enough screws going into the handrail. So the bracket attached to the end of the handrail comes loose. The problem is there's no way of getting to those screws without taking literally the entire handrail out. So it's a bit of a pain in the neck of a job. I don't want to take the whole handrail out because that means taking all the fillets out, potentially, damaging the spindles. I don't want to do that, so I'm gonna to have to just do a remedial fix, unfortunately. And on this particular new build, we've got this problem on every single handrail going up the staircase. As I say, it's four years old, this house, and every single handrail has come loose. It's not dangerously loose. It can't really go anywhere because it's all kind of held in place by the spindles, but it's annoyingly loose. It's just a bit rubbish really and it's par for the course for new builds unfortunately you can guarantee either they'll have used rubbish materials installed well or good materials not installed properly the first thing i need to do is remove this little cap these are normally just glued on they're normally relatively easy to get off we shall see so that's a little screw cap cover looks like it's made out of oak i think Quite a nice little cap. So now that we've got that cap off, you can see we've got this big screw in here. Now, sometimes just tightening this screw will fix the problem. You can see it is loose. It might, or well, might hit lucky, it might just be a loose screw. But generally what ends up happening, oh you beauty, that has fixed that one. Another little tighten. I don't want to over tighten it because what can happen is it pulls the entire bracket out of the end of the handrail but that has actually sorted that one out so there you go that's an easy fix and then all you need to do is glue that back in or even just clip it back in that's got a fairly good hold without even gluing it in so that one's done it will still need a bit of cork and paint around here where the paint's cracked because obviously this has been loose for the best part of four years since the house was built or it's worked its way loose. But you can see the handrail, it's not really wobbling anymore. But that's fine. A little bit of touch up there and that will be good as new. Jobs are good. On to the next one. Right, so I fixed two more of them, had exactly the same problem. I'm up to this one now. I'm not going to show you every single one because if, if they've all got the same problem, it's going to be a little bit boring for you. But I'll do this one. Sometimes, depending on how well glued in these caps are, they can be tricky to get off. Try not to damage them. Just go around with a scrape around all the, all the edges and you should be able to get it loose without causing any damage. But sometimes they do get glued in and they can be quite tricky to get off. But <laughs> Okie dokie. So I was about to say, sometimes these problems are just caused by the contraction of the wood in a new build. Because obviously in a new build, when the property's built, the wood's damp and over time the wood dries out and it contracts. And therefore you do get these kind of snagging problems where stuff does need to be tightened up over time. But this is an interesting one. Look at this. That's never been tightened, ever, from new. Bit of a tricky one to film this one, but can you see how much of the thread is showing behind the screw there? 
that's never been tightened. That's about, there's about a centimetre of loose thread there. It's I've just forgotten to tighten it up. Par for the course in new builds, unfortunately. So, tighten this up. You can see how loose that was. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, they've, they've literally, oh, oh, that's just spinning and spinning and spinning. Oh no, no, we're tight, we're good. I thought for a minute there that the bracket was threaded, but it's not, it's fine. Tight as that's gonna get. Fine, they've just forgotten to tighten it up. So there you go, there's another problem you can come across. And you can see these caps look like they've only been held on with paint before. It's hard to say, it might have just had a bit of cork on. What I'll probably do, I don't, you don't want to glue them in too hard that you can't get them back out because you might need to get back to that bolt for whatever reason. So what I would suggest you do is just put a little bit of cork, maybe at the top and bottom, and then honestly the, the, the paint will hold them in. You don't want to make it so that they're too hard to get out. Even the friction fit of it, it's, you know, it's not going to fall out, but for belt and braces, a little bit of cork. You know, cork's good as a, a weak adhesive. If you want a, something that's going to stick something but not too strong, cork works quite well for that. Not sure how many of these I've done now. Quite a few. Let's see what this one's like. This one's clearly, I don't know if you can see there, this one's been corked on. I'm not having a pop at the original joiners here either, you know, this one's really loose. Um, often they get put up so quickly, it doesn't surprise us at all that you do miss bits and forget bits, but the, the way these brackets have been put into the handrail so is really um, not great. I'm not sure why they've put so much cork in the bottom of that. going in because why not yeah that's what it is they've not made the hole big enough so they can't actually that's why the caps never gone in properly yeah there's no excuse for this to be honest because um, that just makes me question all of the joinery in here because that's complete laziness that they've not bothered to knock out the bottom little bit of that there's literally no reason for it this is just one of my rubbish workshop chisels by the way uh, sorry yeah uh, toolbox chisels literally no no reason whatsoever to have left it like that and the thing is I've had to go with the sustained effort of then corking up the gap it's like why didn't you just do it properly in the first place let's see it's still getting caught on it's that bit there Friday afternoon job I guess I just don't understand. If you're going to do a job, either do it properly or just don't bother. And the thing is, little bits like this, this is like your finishing touches, you know, it can make, makes all the difference. Whether or not that's um, held on properly or has a massive gap at the bottom. Right, so check out this one. We've got probably a five mil gap here. And you see how loose that is? That's not an expansion gap. That's some other problem. You, get, you might get a crack from expansion and contraction of the wood, but not a five mil gap like that. So let's see what this one's got in store. No matter how tight I make this, that ain't going to close up that gap. I can still feel there's about a 5mm gap at the back and that's pretty much as tight as that's going to get. What I was saying, I don't know if you can see that, but basically the panel or the, the bracket that should be screwed into the end of this handrail is completely loose. Okay, I don't know if you can see but the screws that are used, and see the screws from here, they're tiny. You might have a massive bolt going through from this side, but it's going into a bracket that's held into this, 
with three tiny, tiny screws. And that's why no matter how tight you make that bolt, this is never gonna get tight. It's not much I can do here other than a bit of a retrofit and screw through from the top and try and get this clamped together. The problem is the bracket now is stopping this from getting um, that getting snug with that. So I'm gonna have to try and get that bracket out because it's doing nothing at the minute. The bracket's completely loose. If you're gonna use brackets like that, there need to be much, much bigger fixings into the handrails than tiny little screws like that. A complete waste of time. So it's a shame when you see stuff like this because it either means that the, the joiner who put this in, and you know, you don't put in staircases unless you kind of know what you're doing. So it either means that the joiner who put it in just knew it was a problem and just left it, or they didn't understand the fundamental principle of how to attach two bits of wood together, or how to attach a bracket into a piece of wood, because the likelihood is they've used these same, I'll be able to show you one of the screws, if I can, if I can get a screw out, and I'll show you what this banister's been held together with. There's the uh, machine screw, by the way. Right, I think I can just get... Yep, there we go. That's what's been... Three of those. What's that? That's about... It looks like it's even been cheekily kind of glued in, judging by what's on the thread of the screw. Looks like a 15 by 2.5mm screw, that. Three of those tiny, tiny screws is all that's been holding this entire new post to this handrail. Honestly, even the most... that That's bad crack, that, like. That's really bad. Let's try and get the rest of this bracket out or at least get the screws out because none of the, as I say, none of the screws are in the wood anyway, so. What I might be able to do is get a new screw all the way in, we'll see. It's not easy getting access through this hole, that's the only thing. I've got to get that screw out because um, it's jamming everything up at the minute and it, as I say, it's not in properly anyway, so there's no point in it being there. There it is. That and the other one that I've dropped. So I don't know if you can see that. There's a the bracket there. I don't think I can, I can't get a big enough gap here to get the bracket out completely, but can you see it? Oh, 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 oh come on. Can I get it? But what I might be able to do is use, try and get some bigger screws into this. Because failing that, I'm just going to have to put some big screws through here and fill it. But if I can make use of this bracket, that might be good. Let's see if we can get it back in its doodad. Just for the avoidance of any doubt, that's the three screws that held that bracket in. And these will have been used on every bracket like that all the way up the staircase. So these are all going to come loose with time. They're so small. Tiny, tiny screws. You wouldn't use screws like that for a handrail, surely. It's probably what came with the kit, don't get us wrong, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's any good. So to be fair, they're probably thinking, well, I followed the manufacturer's instructions, but it doesn't necessarily mean the manufacturer knew what they were doing. That bit on my normal extension thing is a little bit too wide to get through the hole. I've got a longer one somewhere. This is where trying to kind of retrofit or fix a problem like this is so tricky. That's looking good. Looking very nice. I'm just going to tighten it up by hand because it's always Always a bit tricky with the impact driver to see how tight it's getting. Champion. Right, get this back in. 
I would show you down this hole, but I don't think you would see anything. It's so hard to, I can barely see anything through there myself. It. Solid. Oh, so there you go. This is number ten. Tenth one that I need to check. Staircase. But this one seems all right, I think. So out of the ten bolts, one of them wasn't tightened at all. One of them, the screws had completely ripped out the handrail, and the rest of them just needed a quick tighten. So eight of them were loose due to the contraction of the wood over time with it being a new build. Two of them were down to it not being put together properly basically. But as I say, that problem that we've had with the tiny screws, we're probably gonna start to get that problem everywhere. They're gonna just work themselves loose, which is annoying, but when that happens, all you can really do, other than taking the whole handrail off and putting a new handrail kit in properly, all you can do really is screw through from the top and filler it which is fine but obviously not ideal if it's like a solid wood staircase and you don't want visible screws which is predominantly what these sort of kits are for screwing through from the top is absolutely fine of using big enough screws so all i'm going to do i'm going to go around and attach all these caps properly with a bit of cork again there's another one here that's not going in properly because they've not look, they haven't taken enough material out uh, oh, go on, I'll sort it out while I'm on it. The chisel, of course, has completely vanished. There we go. In. It's not very straight, like, but not rerouting that at all. So I'll go around, pop a bit of cork on all of these, put a little bit of cork around the edges because I'm a quick lick of paint. I'll cork around all of the handrail joins and put a lick of paint over that. And it'll be good as new and hopefully that'll last a good bit longer now and it shouldn't go anywhere. Hope that's helped you if you've got handrails that are coming loose and you now know how to fix it. Generally, you've got that handrail kit Worst case scenario, as I say, you can screw straight through into the handrail or from the handrail into the newel post preferably and watch that you don't get any splitting of the wood as well. So you need to preferably pilot it because these handrails are often made of like a hardwood like hemlock or something like that. And they can split if you put a massive screw straight into it without piloting first. So you do have to be careful. The newel post you can get away with a bit more because they're quite chunky bits of wood. Hope that's been useful for you. I shall see you next time. Tatty bye.